Hello gentle people, Jeff here. Welcome back to the channel. Um, I got pressured by all the other carvers, uh, I have to say, to do something for Halloween. Uh, and I didn't really know exactly what to do because everyone is making witches and, you know, pumpkin head and the likes. Uh, and as I've posted in uh, my community little section on YouTube, uh, I've carved a little uh, Jason, Friday the 13th. Um, so it's not exactly Halloween, but it's sort of horror, so you know, it, it kind of fits. And then I was like, yeah, okay, that's kind of cool. And then I just asked people if they would like to um, get a tutorial for that. And the answer was yes, for from a couple of you guys. So yes, this is uh, what we will do today, right? And uh, no more talk needed. Let's get cracking. All right, so as usual, first thing first. The lines, well first thing first, your glove, then lines. Um, central line, so as I always do, I put my finger and I press on the wood and then I just do a motion with my arm, so that's easy to do a straight line. So we do all the sides. I forgot measurement even though my pieces are always the same so 3.5 by 3.5 by 8 centimeter and in inches it's one and a quarter by one and a quarter by three and a quarter sort of right all right okay now we're back. So that would be the back here. So then I join these two lines. Little arrow to point that it's the front so I don't forget. And then at around one and a half inch. No, it's too much. One and a quarter. Yeah. One and a quarter or 3.5. I'll make a line. And I go around it. That's for the face. Great, and then here at 1.5 centimeter, as I always do, I'll make a little spot. And then at one centimeter probably, because it's a shorter sword that I usually do with my Viking guy. Yeah, one centimeter here. And then I join the lines right here. And then one centimeter above, make another line. And then at around 1.5, 1. 1 point something, I'll make this line here, all right? And then 45 degree for the hand. The thing with, Jay with Jason is that his is more like, I mean, he's more like a machete or something like this. So we'll probably cut the sword like that after. Then to have symmetrical, I press my finger again, place my pencil where the line is here and I rotate and make a little, little spot. I'll do the same thing here, rotate, make a little spot. Same thing here, little spot, All right? And then here I can do the same thing with some sort of a line. So then I just join everything here. So I should have hands that are sort of symmetrical on both sides. And make little lines for the arm and then we are pretty much good to go the back that's fine yep that's it for the lines really so take your knife and then we'll as I always do start with the side and a swipe swoop sweep motion all right, so this is the one side. Same with the other. Okay. Just roughing it out. Goes to have some sort of a symmetrical shape here. Oh, pretty much. Okay, then 
little V cut on the side here. Same thing on the other. All right. So you will have this shape. And this serves as a stop cut to flatten the head and create the shoulders. Like so. Okay. I put my shoulder really low. That's fine. That is okay. Okay. Alright, that's okay for now. In the back, we'll just flatten everything. I want to have a straight line here, which is kind of what I need. Alright, then I just pop that big piece. bit so that's flat now then the front uh, I see that the, I, I really went low with my shoulder that is okay so the same height I will just make a, a V cut all right like so and then I will join these with V cuts on both sides. Like so. Same thing in the back. I'll make one V cut. Then join them. All right. Fix that a little bit. So that's where we are right now. Um, let's do the sword or the, the machete. Um, stop cut straight like this on the arm and go all the way to there. Same thing in the bottom. We'll cut all the like I use with my other swords and then We'll just remove the bottom part. That's easier to go like this. So, removing wood from below. All right. Okay, should be like two mil, something like this. That's good enough. That's deep enough for now. For here, with my knife in, then I rotate a little bit. As usual, try to not have the tip of your knife go inside the arm. It's better if you leave a little chip like that, and then you fix it after. Good, good. Remove more wood here. Okay. Oh, let's go a bit deeper. There we go. Go right. Okay, so. From here, I press my knife against the sword, and then I do a little motion here, just to create uh, more thickness on the sword, and I remove the wood here. Because if you make the sword too thin, that would be super easy to break. So, make it big, then you can remove after, that's fine. 
cool so we'll do the other side think out here go in an angle and in this angle all right so that's a bit tricky to remove now because there's this cut this cut and this cut so first um, I usually go from here all the way to the bottom that would probably split the wood and things but that's fine like so because we will be able to fix that anyway okay and then we can go from here find that it looks like carpet right now so then I'll make the sword that thick which is okay for now we will make it smaller later it's just to be able to remove the wood All right. okay here and from there we can start fixing the ugliness we just created there we go I'll make a v-cut in the middle for the chest like so okay it's also to help cutting and removing wood I'll pop that because it's a bit too big flat on the thing Okay, like so. So now I can come and remove wood little by little. Okay, so we are getting there. It's pretty symmetrical. I think this should be a little bit deeper so it fits with the other side. If you want to fix your cut, you can go on and rotate to fit the tip of the hand here, like so. Or you can come in that way and remove wood. There's many different ways. A little bit more. Okay, that'll do for now. Good. We'll do more later. Now. Let's go in the back. Um, for here, same thing as I've done with the sword here, I'll just press my knife against the carving and I go in an angle, oh, like so. And then I remove some wood. All right, flip it around. So, the one thing I could put a line here just to reach and do the same thing on the other side so it kind of looks similar in the back, maybe a bit lower, like so. Okay, now I have a line to follow. All right. Remove that wood. Like so, we'll do the same thing on this side. All right, so the goal is to have a sort of a that is symmetrical but a shape that looks kind of circular so we see that like here it's super super flat and not here it's because I didn't remove the wood here it's more like it now which is fine it's the bottom but you know here I could remove a little bit more under the, the hand all right Fix 
that. Okay. Same thing here. We will do a. We will go along with this motion here. Do a step cut and then another one on this side. Okay. And then we pop that. You would might split again, but that's fine. You can fix it straight away. Same thing on this side. There we go. Oh. Okay, then you look again. This is way smaller on this side than this side, so I'll remove more wood in here. Okay. Bit better. The fact that I always make two sword with my guy now, it's because of laziness. You see there's like all this intricate wood to remove. When there's another sword, it's really it's really easy. Okay. Alright, so now let's make the machete. So we had a line here before. Uh, but I think I'll go going an angle. We want to have a spiky point. Okay, so you can see here, right? So it's pretty easy. Make a stop cut and then we start removing that wood little by little. Take your time. You don't want to break it. Especially if you start cutting like this against the grain. It's really easy to cut and break it and even cut yourself, so take your time. Okay, I'm getting there. Got the machete. It's a bit thick, but uh, we can fix that a bit later. All right, so we're done the back. Let's uh, just pop the corners on the arms. No. Okay. Good, good, good. Um, for now, I'll just. Remove the corners there. Great. Okay, so let's go back in the front and uh, this little cut that we have here, I will use it as the belt line. So I'll make a straight stop cut on both sides, like this. And then I'll make another one with a couple of mil below. I have no idea if Jason had a belt, but my Jason has a belt. So now we have a belt. So we'll do the same thing on the uh, on the back. We're following the same line as that height. Something like this. All right. So here we can do a little V cuts instead. I interchange them as I see fit. All in all, I usually prefer V cuts than step cuts, but for different things, you need either one or the other. But sometime for this example with the belt, you can go with the one that you like. 
gives a different uh, finish, I guess. Okay. And then another one here. Great. Okay. Uh, let's do the arm now that I think about it. So we'll make a stop cut here and then we'll make um, the hand is here, that's fine. So then we'll make another stop cut there. All right? Same thing on this side. Same height. Like so. Looks pretty good. Then we'll continue that cut all the way to there. And same thing on this side. Alright. Good. Now let's just cut through it from below. Create the sleeve. Like this. Then that back is way too big for a hand, so I usually just go in an angle now, like so, and I pop that wood, you see, like this. Alright, my hands are a bit wonky still, but they do the trick. Okay, so you see the sleeve is way bigger, and that's what I want, but I will pop a little corner here. All right, do the same thing on this side. This is how I do my hands, but you probably have a different slash better way of doing it, which is fine. All right, same thing here, I'll go in an angle, like so. So remove that little corner here. Is that good for the belt? Yep. Okay, let's round that. Same thing here. Good. That's how it looks in the back right now. And we'll just round everything here okay then I will cut here then I will remove little corners machete You see the, the big blade. Let's round that a little bit. Just want to, just a little bit so we still have the spikiness. I was going against the grain, so I'm coming on the other end. Okay. And same thing here. Good. Just clean the wood a bit. And here too. All right, fingers, as I usually do, I don't cut them. I will slide through to make a cut. So that's one. And then I come back in and remove it a bit. And two. Like so. And then three. And you have fingers. Okay. And then just for the paint later or not, but I usually just make a little, uh, little cut like that, so we can see the fingers, all right? This side is a bit different, I want to have a little thumb, so I will uh, just remove the sharpness of everything here. So I just do a little v-cut here, all right? Careful to not put too much rank. So we have a little thumbnail. Then I do the same thing again. So one, two, 
two, and then three. Don't put too much strength, just a little bit. Up, up, up. There we go. So we got our fingers. Good. Fingers, machete. We got the belt. Let's fix the, uh, remove the corners and the arm. On both sides, I forgot about that. Okay. Be careful on this one. If you go too strong, you will just pop the, uh, the little thumb we just added, which we don't want. We'll just fix that a little bit right there. Okay. We're getting there. Yep. Okay, so let's make him a little butt. So at a couple of mil below. Just make a big V cut. Like so. And I will remove all that wood. Like so. And now he has a butt. on one side what I'll do okay so now in the middle I'll make a cut like this little stop cut at the top to be able to remove the wood and then on an angle I just pop everything all right like so And then I'll make a little cut, a little v-cut here. Don't put too much strength, you're at the end of the grain. That's easy to break. And it will create some eels. All right, all right, all right. Now, I will fix the front, because it's a bit wonky. Moving some wood here and there. Flattening the thing. Okay, so as you can see with this guy, he has the pants, and then the shoes, and then a little front thing. So we'll do the same thing with this guy. Um, so what we will do here is a V-cut. Alright. Well, at least a couple of them. Create some depth. Then go and do the sword. Just be careful that you don't go too wild because you will just break everything. Alright. Like so. I will flatten the thing here. Okay. As you can see, there's a depth now for the shoes. And then, what could I do? I think in an angle from the hand, like Doug and the others, they always do that. Like the pants is sort of like over the shoes, which is kind of cruel. I kind of like that. Try to do symmetrical on both sides. You see, it kind of looked like, looked like this. Well, my hand doesn't work. Wait, no, I need to continue the shoes first. All right, okay. Like so. And then this side, I could do a little cut. All right, okay. So now we have the shoes, and then I'll just join the line here. Alright. Same thing on the other side. The pants are like on the back of the shoes, as you can see here.
Okay, let's do some little um, little lines for the shoes themselves. Create some sole. Do a little V cuts all around at the bottom. Like I say, just go really slowly. If you put too much strength, you will just break the end grain. Great. Now we have to separate the whole thing because uh, I only have one big foot right now. So in the middle, make a cut and then go in an angle. There we go. Pop the whole thing. Should have done that before, but that's okay. Just fix it a little bit. Okay. All right. I'll do the V cut again. Cool. And then I think is there a place for some sort of crotch? because the sword is sort of in the way. You could do, I will do some angular V-cut here. Maybe one will do the trick. Maybe another one here. All right. So I don't know if you see, but it looks like he has a little crotch in the front now. Good. Okay. So we have the front, the back, the leg. I'll just clean the mark here. We have the feet. All right, so I think we're pretty much good for the buddy. Now we will do the best part, which is the hockey mask. I'll just fix the my wood here. Okay. There. Good. And then in the front. Oh, I'm against the green. Yep. You heard the click. Okay, let's round the shoulder a bit. They're a bit too square for my taste. Great, all right. The face now. So it's pretty straightforward. Because that's a Hauke mask, so it's pretty square and then there's the strap all the way around which is kind of what I usually do with my Viking helmet but that's what we will do now so um, I'll just flatten the front with one cut or two depends okay and I will just move the wood here move the line okay same thing in the back Okay, so we will round everything, start with the top, all right, like I always say, start cutting from the corner, and then from a corner that will create more corners for you to cut again, and that's easier to cut. Look at the top, how it's looking. All right, then you go against the grain 
your knife is sharp enough, like so. All right, and the last bit, you flip your grip and then you just remove. Okay. Keep that these two faces flat. All right. Then we can round more here. And even there, create more. Cut here. Okay, same thing here. Back. Okay, so with this guy, I um, I didn't make little holes for the hockey mask. I painted them because uh, that's too small. I just wanted to mess around with it. So um, for the face and the nose, uh, it's pretty simple. I will do one big slice cut here in the front, okay, like so, and then I will do one cut for the nose in the middle, and then we will go through it like this, okay, flatten it up, make it this okay that's it that's that's really it for the nose and we just want to have this piece really flat and straight all right and then for the eyes which is the hard part uh, we will draw circles And you try to have something symmetrical. Which is seriously the hardest part. As you can see my eyes are a bit uh, wonky. But hey, that works. Alright, and then from here uh, what you do is you have different ways, but I think I will do it in an angle So in a 30 45 degree angle you just go with the tip of your knife and you go around the circle that you just draw and then You don't have to do it in one motion Take your time And then you make a circle so it will look a bit like this and then you go in with the tip of your knife and then you just go around and then you will remove the wood like so be careful of the grain be mindful of it and then when you have a shape like so, you can um, you can remove more wood around the shape like this. And you really take your time, and then you remove more and more wood in the eye socket. Okay, it will look like garbage, but we'll fix that. Then you do the same thing on the other side, which is the tricky part because now you want to have something sort of symmetrical, but at least we can always remove more. So if you start a bit smaller, it's good. 
because right now my two eyes are absolutely not looking the same. And same thing, we go in again. Okay, and then you look at your two eyes and then you realize that they really don't look the same, like me. And then you adjust, basically. So this one needs to be a bit bigger, so then I will just go in and remove more wood at the top. Make it a bit more straight. So yeah, you just adjust. Alright, they look a bit more the same. I just want to clean the cuts. And make this one a bit deeper. So if you're not painting your carvings, you could probably try to do the little hole in the hockey mask with your knife or if you have a gouge that could also work but yes yeah, since I paint my carvings I uh, I don't have to do that I felt it was a bit uh, a bit too much to carve the little holes themselves okay that'll do for now so that's pretty much the same as you can see, the the, the hockey mask really come to shape with the paint. And I painted the eyes also. I didn't carve anything in there. Uh, it was too bit. It was a bit too intricate to do, right? So now we need a line a little bit after here, after the start, and then we go all the way around, right? All right, so that's the, the mask, and it is the tree uh, thing to hold it together. So you just draw lines around. Like so. And then there's one at the top, which is the trickiest one because it's against the grain. All right, <coughs> so um, make sure you don't cut on the straps. So we just make a little stop cut on the side here and then we remove the wood. Like so. And then it will create a little depth on the mask here. And then you do that all the way around. And grain here, be careful. Take your time because it's not super easy to cut. Okay, that's pretty much done on this side. The same thing on the other.
All right, so we've done all the sides. Now we'll do the strap, which is the same thing. Just stop cuts all the way around. Make sure you don't cut the straps. So stop here, do another one here for later. Then go on the other side there. Go around. That means the other cut that you've done before. All right. And these are way easier to cut, obviously. Like so. Same thing here. That's one strap done here. Let's do the other. There we go. So we got the strap at the bottom and then the top of the strap on the sides. Try to fix my little cut here a bit. Okay, and then you do the same thing at the bottom, but this one you can go all the way. There we go. That's it, you have the mask. And then you can maybe, if you want, just remove the corners of the head if you feel like it. Okay, so we're pretty much done. Um, I will just add the usual little V cuts on the armpit that I always do. All right, and then another one here. Okay, same thing in the back. Like so. Now I just do little V cuts here on the side. It kind of creates some sort of like muscle line for the arm. Jason was a big guy. And uh, yeah, I will flatten that part here, put it straighter. Oh yeah, and last thing, the strap. Uh, just make little cuts. So we can see the straps on the helmet. Like so. If you see, it's kind of going on the helmet. And I will just cut the binding here. Clean it up. Same thing at the top. Okay, try to move the pencil line here, and same thing on this side. Like 
Okay, and then one little detail you can do if you want to is um, the jacket. Um, so you can do a line, a stop cut in the middle, like so. And then just remove one side of it. So it kind of looks like it's the, the jacket. And then, like I've done here, you can paint the little button. And if you want, you can also uh, make the little pockets, which is a square on both sides. All right. So you just do little V cuts on the top and the bottom, and then on the side. So that's one square. Same thing on the other side. So that's another square. Now if you want you can do really, really small V cut also in an angle to make the the top of the pocket. Because everything is in the detail. All right. There we are. I'll give it a little uh, little brush. And here it is. This is our Jason. All the way for Halloween. Alright, alright. So here we are. Uh, we've done this little guy. This little Jason right here. As you can see, it's like you, you need to paint the um, hockey mask, uh, I would say, for uh, for it to become the, the big boy. Uh, but all the cuts are there. There's little pockets, the jacket, everything, the machete, um, and then, yeah, the mask itself. Um, so I hope you enjoyed, and it was not too intricate. Uh, it's fairly simple to do. It's it's like my classic guys, all right? Uh, it's not a Viking, but you know, use the same pattern, just a little bit of variation. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it. I hope you will be able to carve a couple of them and then give them to your family, you put that into your Halloween decoration, uh, maybe for next year because, well, I'm pretty much at the end of the month, right? So uh, in any case, uh, have a good one and then we will see each other in the next video. Bye-bye.